I've been saying this uh, for a while now that I've been struggling with getting information for uh, various topics uh, at, at City Hall and this is just another one that I feel it shouldn't be this hard to get information. Uh, we've been always been very supportive of the Ski Hill, uh, I'll say we meaning City Hall, the Administration Council in the past, uh, where we've given uh, roughly about 111,000, that's combined between the amount we were giving them for water and then there was a capital piece in there as well. Um, for years. Just in the last two years there's been $100,000 that have been issued two times that's over and above and if you look back at October of last year if you watch that interview from back there that or from that council meeting I was very upset with the fact that I felt like my back was against the wall because I asked for a little bit more time because people had asked me some questions um, that raised a couple of red flags not anything that's you know legal or you know contract but it's just I couldn't feel confident with my answer of saying absolutely let's do this um, but I was told that if we delay this, the ski won't be able to open. And so to me, I was like, well, I don't want that to happen. Let's do it now. But I would rather see, like, this should be a budget thing. And because I was told they'll need some more money in the next year, I said, okay, budget time comes around. March comes around and it's supposed to be around their time for March break. And they're told, no, we can't give you information because they haven't finished March break yet. Okay, we don't pass the budget till May. Still no talks about the, 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 the ski hill. And then a couple months later, asked for another 100000 outside the budget period, asking for reserves again. I don't have a budget in my hand. I can't, I can't answer any of the questions people ask because we're still nothing. It's just a, another 100000 uh, because they're going to be in deficit. They won't be able to open. It's like, I keep saying, everything is like Groundhog Day uh, with, with the administration lately when in council is that that story that was written in October of last year is the same thing that's happening again this year. Meanwhile, I've been able to ask questions through the budget process without information. I've uh, recently been given the numbers of what we've uh, issued over the last 10 years, but I'm still waiting for the actual financials that I was told I would get um, last week. Uh, I was told I would get these financials and we're now Friday, that was Tuesday, and I still haven't received them. So I don't know who has the financials, but nobody's reached out to me to say, here they are. Uh, I don't know if it's, um, the ski home very may well have given this to the administration, which I believe that that's what they've done because I was told they had it and they could give it to me. Again, I still haven't got them. So my thing is that how many more times do I have to ask to be able to, you know, just be able to answer the public to say that we're doing the right thing. I'd rather have talked about it during the budget to say, if we want the ski hill to stay open, if there's an issue with, you know, the, the sustainability of it, we use the ski hill on an ongoing basis in our, all of our tourism stuff. You know, I'm a very big supporter of the ski hill. But we, what's the sustainability plan? I want to stop taking money out of the reserves and actually plan for it and understand why they need it. Um, you know, if you're asking for taxpayers' dollars, there should be a way for us to be able to validate it. Some people come back and say, hey, Tanya, you were the budget chief for years. You've never asked for all this stuff. We've never given any more than the capital amount that was asked for by through the Conservation Authority. And then we added additional money to help support them with the water. Only recently we've been asked for this extra 100000 because they're in deficits uh, and are, are threatening to close the hill every year. So there's a bigger conversation to be had about the sustainability of the ski hill, but that conversation isn't happening with council as a whole. So where the ha conversation is happening, I don't know, but it's not with me and I don't have papers in my hand to, uh, to, to be able to support it. Follow up on uh, a story we did last week with Tanya Vraybosh. Uh, she's certainly concerned about what she says, lack of transparency. And this stems from last council meeting uh, with the funding request of $100,000 for the Laurentian ski hill from city and she says that she doesn't have enough information to make that choice and she's asked for that information so she's aired her grievances what's your response to what she's saying well initially that uh, discussion took place on July 9th uh, with the council meeting of July 9th and uh, at that time it was fully debated and fully discussed at that time um, so one might question that from July 9th to September the 5th or whatever the date was of the last council meeting, that there was ample opportunity for any questions to be answered, uh, any inquiries that any of the councillors uh, had made. And uh, honestly, around the table, um, that was the only voice that said that the transparency uh, wasn't there. I believe that uh, all the questions were answered by for other councillors, any questions that they may have had. Um, and when we look back on uh, our relationship with the Ski Hill, North Bay Mattawa Conservation Authority, so on and so forth. Uh, although that this 100,000 represents uh, more than what our normal, uh, we've been subsidizing that hill going back to day one. Um, so, you know, the lack of transparency, no, I, I don't agree with that in any shape or form. And uh, quite frankly, Laurentian Ski Club, uh, the board, uh, they are open to any questions, any questions that I've ever had. I, I call, I ask, and uh, 
they answer uh, as best as they can. So uh, for, you know, somebody says there's lack of transparency, lack of openness uh, on this, um, I vehemently disagree with that. And uh, everybody has the opportunity to ask those questions, whether it be of myself, uh, our CAO, or our CFO.